Hi. Now, if you'd like to have a go at this question, haven't read it before, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through this work solution. Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, we've got to sketch this probability density function given here. So, to do this, what I'd want to do then is just set up my axis. We'll have this axis as f of x, and we'll have this one here as x. Now, we've got the first part from x going between 0 and 3 is this quadratic function. And I can see that when x is 0, it's going to go through the origin. So I'll have this as the origin then. And it's going to be u-shaped. And also, when we get to 3, if I square 3, that's 9 over 45. That's going to be 1 fifth. So we're going to get a curve going something like this up, like so. OK? And let's just mark off that that highest point there is 1 fifth. Now, if I project down there, that's going to be 3. So we're looking now at this interval 3 to 4. So marking the 4 there. And this is going to be 1 fifth. So the curve is going to be horizontal now, up to the 4 here. And then what we've got here is a straight line. And it's got a negative gradient. And when x is 4, I can see that I get 1 third minus 4 thirtieths. And if you work that out, that is 1 fifth. So I know that it joins on to here. And when x is 10, you're going to get 1 third minus 10 thirtieths. So that comes out as 0. So you've got your graph going from here at the 1 fifth down to there on the x-axis when x is 10. Now it's not finished there because it's 0 otherwise so therefore our graph would be 0 up to the origin there and 0 from 10 onwards. I'll mark that in as the origin 0 there. So there we go, there's a sketch of f of x.